So you have already heard this story before, okay? Scarlett Johansson suing Disney for millions of dollars that they did not pay her, and they're blaming it on the pandemic, and they're they're saying that Scarlett Johansson is basically being entitled, yada, 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 it's a girl power movement, so-and-so. Honestly, I am more on Scarlett Johansson's side, but that's not what we're going to talk about today, okay? We're not going to talk about the Scarlett Johansson problem. We're going to talk about the fall... The rise and fall of movie stars and how movie stars are going to be taking a pay cut and how basically, you know, the, the future of movie theaters, video streaming services and how this affects actors. And, you know, the worship of, of, of uh, movie actors is basically going to go down and how this whole thing is probably going to conclude. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Hello guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video, okay? Enjoy. What is up guys, this is your boy Andy Matrix, welcome to Andy RCV, where I talk about anime, movies, well excuse me, anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. So I have chosen not to talk about, you know, Hollywood movies on this channel, especially Marvel movies, you know, things like that. Sometimes I'll do a movie review. But today, <clears throat> we're going to talk about... Hold on. Sorry, guys. We're going to talk about the future of movie stars and video streaming services. Okay, how actors will go broke. Or how they're going to have to take a huge pay cut. So you see what's happening here. Scarlett Johansson, futures, future movies with Scarlett Johansson. She's not going to be able to make $20 million a movie. Probably like three million, five million, something like that, right? But she's not gonna pay. She's not gonna be making, you know, twenty million. She's not gonna be making twenty million dollars. You know, Robert Downey Jr. is sure as hell, sure as hell is not gonna make, uh, you know, forty, seventy million dollars for for movies in in you know when it's in a, on a video streaming service like Netflix. So, so this was the problem with Scarlett Johansson. So let, let let's start here. So they're saying. So movie theaters are movie theater owners blame Marvel's Black Widow box office failure for Disney Plus launch. So look, so Disney Plus and HBO Max, they're doing the same thing. So let's let's say HBO Max, for example. In HBO Max, let's say the Godzilla movie. The Godzilla movie, when it came out in 2021, you could watch it in theaters. So you could either go to the theaters, get the theater experience for $12, $15. Or you could stay at home. You could stay at home and pay the HBO fee of fifteen dollars or not, or ten dollars a month, and still watch the movie, right? So there's this battle. There's this battle between, you know, video streaming services and theaters, because the traditional way of watching a movie is to go to the theaters. That you know, it's it's a it's a very experience. It's very different. It's a very different experience from, you know, just staying at home and watching the movie at home. I like going to the theaters, okay? I am a 90s kid. I am a 2000s. I'm a, I'm a 2000s kid, you know? The 2000s, that was my era. You know, that was my geek era. Not so much the 90s because I, I, I was a little kid. Uh, but the 2000s was really my, my era. So going to the movies... It, it was a huge experience. You know, when The Matrix first came out, Lord of the Rings, when all these new movies came out, you would go to the theaters and then months later or a year later, you would you would buy the the VCR. Oh, my God. I can't believe I said that. The VCR or the DVD. Right. And that's how you would enjoy the movie after the, the theaters made their money. Right. You would spend more money on the DVD or the VCR and you would own it. But now you don't really own it. You pay you pay the Netflix fee or the HBO fee or the Disney Plus fee, seven dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars a month, right? The, you, you join the streaming service and you watch movies there on unlimited, nonstop, as many movies as you want. But you don't own them. Okay, so that that's the problem, right? And now, now see the th the thing about actors. Actors make most of their money from the box office. And Hollywood makes most of his most of his, his money from the box office, right? 
and at and I said in Bloomberg, even Bloomberg is saying we go to Bloomberg.com says the growth of streaming hits actors and producers in in the wallet, right? So here it says the majority of movies that appear on streaming services don't get released in theaters. The services pay for them upfront, which means stars, producers, and filmmakers can't earn the windfall that come from the box office matches, right? So initially, an actor will get paid money upfront for for the movie. So let's say uh, Robert Downey Jr. he'll get paid five million dollars for a movie, right? And then after the box office, you know, after the movie comes out in theaters, he'll he'll make extra money from he'll make extra money from from theaters, uh, you know, from from the uh, the revenue uh, that the movie made from being being in the theaters. And I'm not sure if merchandise is in there, but uh, you you get the point. They make more money from movie theaters from box office hits. And then it also says. Uh, most the most profitable movie in 2019 was Avengers Endgame, generating 900 million for Walt Disney, according to Dead, uh, Deadline Hollywood. The stars of such big hits can can earn massive paydays. Robert Downey Jr. earned a reported 75 million for his salary and sheer profits on that film. Yet for every every Downey Jr., there are more producers and financiers who have lost a lot of money chasing a dream. Five five films from the various studios 2019 lost more than 100 million so yeah so the the, the point here is that actors are gonna have to take a pay cut right actors are gonna have to take a pay cut and if, if they want to continue being actors they're going to have to accept the pay cut because the whole you know the whole idea of having this huge box office hit in the theaters is disappearing okay in 2020 the pandemic theaters are disappearing but it was before 2020 okay before the pandemic this has been happening all right theaters are going to continue to disappear because now we no longer have to drive we don't have to drive to the theaters now people are building their own home theaters here's an example uh Rest tech today, resttechtoday.com. This is a tech, a, a, a tech website, website about technology. It says home theater, sur home theater interest surges as pandemic forces more, more home time, right? So during the pandemic, people were stuck at home, right? People were stuck at home. And even after, even after 2020, you know, the mask man, the mask mandates continue, all of that continued. So. So not everything was open. You know, I, I went to New Jersey to spend time with my family uh, in, in 2021. And just when I thought that, you know, you, we could now sit down at a restaurant and eat, you know, we went to a ramen place. And and then we, 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 when we got to the ramen place, they said, oh, no, 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 we're still not We're You know, you still cannot sit here. You, ha you have to order and then take it home. And this is still happening all over the country. It's still happening all over the country where some restaurants they still don't want you to to uh you know to to eat indoors so what the heck you know might as well just stay home and might as well if you're gonna stay home all day might as well make the homestay experience you know even better hey guys let's go buy a home theater get that 50 inch big screen tv with with this huge you know these huge um you know speakers you know to really give it that pop that huge feel right and and I'm not sure if you notice, but having a home theater, it's not like it was in the early 2000s or or in the 90s where to have a home theater, it will cost thousands of dollars, right? No, 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 not anymore. Not anymore. Even if you work at McDonald's, you can still afford to you can still afford to build a home theater in your house. OK, so check it out. So let's go to Amazon real quick. Okay, 50 inch screen 4K TV, $500. This shit used to cost over over $1000. I kid you not. Back in like 2008, 2009, a 50 inch screen TV will cost a flat screen TV, 50 inch will cost over $1000 easily. 32 inch screen TV, $129. I can buy this. I can buy this right now. I can buy this right now. Uh, 50 look 50 inch screen Toshiba Toshiba 15 inch screen TV 369 dollars 
Okay, five hundred dollars. So, <laughs> oh man, man, see, it's so affordable. It's so affordable. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. Anybody, I mean, you could you can make you can make minimum wage fifteen dollars an hour in New York City or wherever you are. You know, if you're in California, minimum wage is fifteen dollars or twelve. If you're making twelve dollars an hour. With you know, with one paycheck, you can buy a whole television. As a matter of fact, hold on, home theater system, home theater system, right? And then the equipment, five hundred dollars. The equipment of you know, um, speakers and all of that, three hundred fifty-nine. Look, look at this, one hundred seventy-nine. You can you can buy really affordable equipment, really affordable equipment for cheap, seventy-five dollars. You know. Hundred sixty-seven. So really, it, all of it it costs less than a thousand dollars. For less than a thousand dollars, you can have a fifty-inch screen TV, big speakers, um, pop on Netflix, pop on HBO, Disney Plus, so and so, and poof, there you go. A lot of people are building a home theater so that they don't have to drive to the theaters and spend more money. Because look. When you go to the theaters, not only are you spending money on the movie tickets, but also food and gas if you're driving there. So you have to worry about gas. So food, movie tickets, and gas. And if you're bringing your kids or family, that's more money, right? So people, believe it or not, people are actually saving money by watching movies at home. And let's go back to the Scarlett Johansson, the Scarlett Johansson、uh, scenario here. Okay, Disney. Disney is releasing the movie in theaters, but guess what? They're also releasing the movie on Disney Plus, and they have this other option where, like, if you pay thirty dollars, you can watch the movie earlier, and then you would own the movie in Disney Plus. Which I think is kind of ridiculous. I don't like. Well, th this doesn't make a difference. So they're charging you more money, Disney Plus, to get access to the movie early. Right, so you can watch the movie for thirty dollars before it goes to Disney Plus and before it comes on theaters. Right, so you can be ahead of the game. So th there are so many options. Right, before the only option was to go to the movie theaters. Now there's so many options, and we're gonna see more movie theaters closing and closing and closing and closing. All right, this is the future. This is the future. Actors, they're gonna be taking a pay cut. Movie theaters are gonna be closing, and people are gonna be building home theaters, right? They're gonna be building home theaters for cheap, for cheap. I mean, think about it. Laptops, it, laptops used to be really expensive, right? I didn't have a laptop until I was like nineteen, twenty years old. Laptops used to be really, really expensive. So,、um, what was it like a, a MacBook? Back in the 2000s, it cost five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars back then was a lot of money, but now with inflation, it's really not a lot of money, right? Five hundred dollars. You know, PlayStation or an X or the new Xbox costs five hundred dollars. It's not a lot of money. You know, when you can buy a 32 inch screen TV for one hundred to four hundred thirty dollars, that's nothing. People are building their home theaters. Okay, people are building their home theaters. Actors are gonna take a pay cut, and Everybody's just gonna be moving to the you know the streaming service because look, it's more profitable. It's more profitable, more convenient. Disney does not have to depend on theaters. HBO does not have to depend on theater. And the and the big companies, the big corporations, Warner Media,、uh, what's it called, Viacom,、um, and all these all these other companies, they don't have to depend on movie theaters. People can just subscribe. You know, when a mo new movie comes out, people will subscribe to the service. And then they they can unsubscribe until another another thing another movie that they want comes on. For example, The Mandalorian. Okay, The Mandalorian. When it comes out, Disney got like what like ten ten million subscribers, something like that, something close to that, with The Mandalorian. But as soon as season one of The Mandalorian was over, people jump shit. Okay, oh, it's over. All right, let's unsubscribe. That's how it is. So in a way, it's kind it's kind of like they're getting their their you know their box, <laughs> the, the, all the all the money that will come from the box office, they're getting it from the monthly subscription. 
So it's just so much more convenient. This goes same goes for Hulu, HBO, Paramount Plus, right? Is just more profitable. Okay, this is the way. What is up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at andyrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, everybody. Godspeed.